Dan here from Lead with Nature at the Woodshed again. A little bit more spring birding. So we're going to listen again, see what we can hear. In the last episode, it was the titmouse, the tufted titmouse, the bird that goes. <whistles> this time around, we've got our first spring triller. Trilling is just a whistle that goes really fast, like this one's might need some thumping behind me. I think my kid just came in from a bike ride, but because he came and do it, it's so fast. And that's the chipping sparrow. Chipping sparrows out here, usually feeding on the ground. Yeah, he's not being really loud or cooperative right now. Hold on, let me find your picture of him. Maybe he'll sing louder. There he goes. He's kind of mixed in with all those other sounds right now. But small, kind of grayish brown bird. Spends a lot of time on the ground, sometimes singing a little higher. Has a little bit of a rusty cap. <laughs> Right in there, you can see that chipping sparrow. Yeah. You can see they're quite well spread across the country. Keep an eye out for them, keep an ear out for them. They're great birds to learn because, in what we call learning bird language, which is learning how to learn what's going on around us from the birds, learn more about kind of this kind of secret language of nature. Um, they're really helpful birds Because they're on the ground because they're pretty tolerant of people they have to um, They can teach us a lot. They have to pay attention just like everyone else out here To the predators on the ground that might want to eat them for instance as well as the ones from the sky who may want to take them out So the chipping sparrow is a really really good bird to pay attention to Okay, that's all we got for now and episode two